Well, it seems to me, Tom Tartan and friend in the midst of the foreign affairs of the Republic of India. One of the greatest challenges of our age is to ensure that we fight terrorism, extremism and intolerance as we must, but we don't do at the same time, we don't at the same time trigger broader conflict between civilizations. To characterize this fight against terrorism as a fight against Islam is to invite not just a clash of civilizations but to broaden support for terrorists. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to hand the floor to our audience for this. We live in a world where the true struggle is the struggle between the tolerant and the intolerant, between people of reason and compassion from all around the world and extremists who place no value on human life. It is not a struggle between Islam and non-Islam. It is not a struggle between Islam and Christianity. We must work together, Australians and Indonesians, Muslims and non-Muslims, to defeat intolerant killers. <laughs> It's a very good outcome that um, Indonesia is positive about joint naval patrols so we can, between the two of us, um, make sure that we, uh, um, we have a more effective system of patrolling than just one of us doing it. I mean, Indonesia has joint patrols with the Philippines and with um, Malaysia, so there's absolutely no reason why we can't extend that to Australia. Relation to access, uh, that in relation to the two Australians who have been sentenced to death, that uh, once the appeals process is completed and if those sentences stand at the end of the appeals process, uh, when applications then are made for clemency, the Australian government would support uh, those applications for clemency um, and um, for the uh, sentences to be um, changed to um, custodial sentences rather than capital um, sentences, capital punishment. And it, just do a couple of quick questions. Yeah. Yeah.